What's up guys, this is Lucas here. So today I have an unboxing from the cubicle. Uh, I've only got one cube in here. It is the MF3 RS3M, uh, but still a pretty exciting unboxing. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. Okay. So here's the cube. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, one interesting thing about this puzzle is that it's marketed as the RS3M, so they cut out the MF. Oh uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So I only have the... I only have the prototype uh, non-magnetic version, so... I think this cube should um, offer me some new insight about like what its potential is, so that's pretty cool. Okay. So, got a stand and then some tensioning tools and then, of course, the MoU cards uh, with Steve, Mr. Chin. Uh, very nice packaging, um, pretty standard though of MoU. Oh, so also it has Cuban Classroom on the box, so I I don't know if it's Cuban Classroom or Mofang Joshi. Never really knew the distinction there, but um, apparently they're different. So, alright, this is the cube. Let's get into it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm hardly even moving it, and it's just wanting to turn. Okay, so I think the non-magnetized version is about $10, and then the magnetized version is $15, so not too much of a markup. Uh, well, at least in dollar amount, but, uh, yeah, here, here's first turns. Ooh. That is a lot faster than I was expecting, because my RS3 non-magnetic is slow. Uh, I don't know why, but this one is, uh, really fast. So one gripe about this cube that a lot of people have is that it's quite heavy. Uh, I don't actually notice it too much, and that could be because of its speed. A lot of times that kind of mitigates the heavy feeling of cubes. Like, sluggish cubes, generally, uh, you can notice the weight quite a bit more. I don't know why, but that's just, that's just how it is in my experience, but. Yeah, it, the cube's turning perfectly fine. My arms are in a little bit of an awkward position, so sorry if I'm out of frame. So I think the fact that this cube is naturally pretty flexy makes it, makes it, uh, a lot smoother than some other cubes. Uh, it doesn't really feel like there's a whole lot of contact inside, uh, which definitely is different from the RS2. With the RS2, it was more of a controllable, yet a um, little more tactile feel. Uh, but this one definitely has a lot more raw speed. Uh, that's the biggest difference I'm noticing. Um, but also, th these stickerless shades, they, they're duller than uh, your traditional Moyu stickerless shades, but still, I think recognition is, would be perfectly fine on these, uh, just, it's a difference. Um, and also, it feels like it has more of a matte finish to it, it could just be, uh, this certainly has a different plastic from the GTS-3, uh, like, not as hard, it definitely feels quite a bit softer to me, at least. Um, But I'm really impressed with this turning. I'm not sure why people say it kind of feels sluggish or something, but um, yeah, I'm not having any issues here. Okay, so I'll give it a quick solve. Um, like I said, I'm in a little bit of an awkward position, so don't expect anything too good. Just trying to demonstrate the turning. Uh, but yeah, I definitely like this cube quite a bit. Um, Oh dear, this is bad. Uh, okay. Ooh. 
Yeah, I'm having to look around the tripod so I can't really look ahead, but that was probably, I'd say that was like a 7.9, maybe. Uh, not too good, but, um, yeah. But I really like this puzzle, and I, I also believe that uh, it's ready to go straight out of the box. I don't really foresee, like, a whole lot of um, improvement from setting it up. It's just one of those cubes, but, yeah, for a budget cube, uh, being ready to go straight out of the box is amazing. Uh, that's, that's definitely an improvement from the version 2, in my opinion, but, yeah, I really like this puzzle. I think it could suit many, um, many introductory speed cubers, but I also think that this cube could be perfectly fine for, uh, world-class solvers. Um, I know Mikhail Rajewski uses it, um, and he's very fast. So yeah, I'm very impressed with this cube. I'm glad the cubicle sent it out to me because the magnetic version has definitely um, improved my opinion on this cube because uh, it's quite frankly better than the uh, non-magnetic version for only a, a very small markup. But yeah, I... I I would highly recommend this puzzle if you're looking for a uh, cheap uh, but still high performing 3x3. So uh, that's about it for this video. Um, thanks to the cubicle for sending it out to me uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed. So thank you guys for watching.